Vast herds of bison once thundered across the wild, open plains of America. Today they are gone, and that wilderness is but a memory. But there is a place, a place where the wild prevails, where massive herds of caribou still thunder across the tundra. This place is called America's Pissed Off Arctic. Hi, I'm Conga Cut, your host here at America's Pissed Off Arctic. The animals of the North kept quiet during George W. Bush's first term. Yet by the time his second term was over, humans had opened up 80 million Arctic acres to oil and gas development. But now, the animals are silent no more and have agreed to speak with us. You know I'm all for this change we can believe in thing, but where is it? I mean, there's still almost 100 million acres open up here. What are you saying? Come and get it, oil man. Drill, baby, drill. Who cares about the f muskox? So, uh, it's pretty nice up here. I love it. Except my friends are starting to drown. Hey, if you people want to give away your country's last most wild place to a few rich fat guys, that seems kind of weird to me. Democracy and all. Personally, I'd rather eat them. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Really fatty chicken. We interviewed thousands of species here, and every herd, pack, pot, and school agreed on a few things. That this is an incredibly wild, diverse place covering thousands of square miles, and humans would be crazy to give it up to feed their addiction to oil. Why, even this little budding scientist knows a thing or two about oil. Um, the United States wouldn't need any of the oil from the Arctic Refuge if humans just kept their tires properly inflated. Sheesh! Not to mention global warming is heating things up twice as fast here in the Arctic. <laughs> Humans have lived in the Arctic for thousands of years. So don't let a few fat, some say delicious, oil men come in and ruin it for everyone. Isn't it finally time to protect America's Arctic? Get President Obama to act by signing the petition at www.alaskawild.org.